I honestly cannot believe it. This is the second time recording for, I would say, another 30 minutes. And then just to look over to my second screen to find out that I wasn't actually recording. So yet again, another insane mistake. I cannot believe it. And I literally, I've just done a lot. Okay, welcome to another video. I appreciate it anyway. Thank you. So what we are doing is continuing from my previous video with my Zombies 8 My Neighbors remake within Construct 3. So it's just a very simple demonstration really of what you can do within this game making engine software. It's free, it's all web based and it's so good and it's really fun. So what I have actually done now in regards to the previous video, I have added some more elements. We've got zombies in there now. There are just still images, they don't do anything. However, when you do collide with the zombies, it's going to kill the player and then restart the level. We have over here a trigger. So when the player enters this area here, it's going to enable the visibility of the exit. So what I'm actually going to do is just going to do a quick run through of each levels. I have added four levels, each of them playing the level music. If anybody has played Zombies Ate My Neighbors before, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll recognize this entire game. So I'm actually going to start from level one. I want to leave the beginning parts to the end because that's the part that I haven't tested yet so stick with me and you'll see what I'm talking about so we're just going to quickly run through it's very basic okay don't judge me I'm only a beginner Okay, first mistake, that shouldn't have played the audio so late. Running through the level real quick. Oh, I've actually put a collision there, so I can't cheat and go through the wall like I have here. I have to go all the way around. <gasps> I hit the zombie, oh my gosh. Well, that's a good uh, example, actually, um, of what happens when you hit the zombie, it plays the zombie sound, then restarts the layout. I'm going to avoid it this time. Okay, I have... No collisions on this level, so I can literally go through all the walls. <laughs> there we go, and it goes back to the beginning. So that is the run through of what I have done so far. In future videos, I hope to actually figure out how to animate these, uh, animate the zombies and then have them follow the player. That'd be pretty cool if we could do that. Also, we'll have an objective where you save the, uh, the neighbors. So then instead of having this trigger here to trigger the exit, what I want to do is when you save an X amount of neighbors, it's then going to enable the visibility to the next level. But that's going to be more advanced and that's going to be further down the line after I've watched a few more tutorials myself on how to actually do that. Right, so going back to the actual beginning, we have our title screen. I'm going to click start the game. Then that's going to take us to character select. So this is what 
I was actually just doing in the previous recording only to find out that it wasn't actually recording. <sighs> oh well. But I, like I said, I haven't tested it. But what I've actually just got it to do is if you clicked select Zeke, it's going to go to level one. If you collect Julie, it's going to go to level two. So let's actually just test out this. Okay. Amazing. And do it again for when we select Mijuli. Mijuli. And it goes to level two. Amazing. Um. What would actually be good, though? I suppose that requires actual code for that. If you was to select Julie, then start level one as Julie. Vice versa. Select Zeke, play level one as Zeke. Start of layout. Yeah, because then that would be like... A condition like if select Zeke now that's that's too complex but you know what I'm saying right so if I select Zeke you play as Zeke play, uh, select Julie play as Julie as the level when you start level one um Mm -mm. What do what did I want to do next? Title screen. We've done that. Character select. Finish the level. We did have an issue here. Ah. We want to. Nope. Nope. This was the issue. We want to play that first. Let's just put that to the test. So now when we exit the level, it should play that audio first. Perfect. Right. Um, I don't think there's actually anything else I want to show right now. There's nothing more to do with this video apart from like I mentioned having animations collecting the neighbors but that's going to be in another video I'm going to try and like add a score and then have that trigger the exit have some collectibles in there um, but what I didn't mention is that I have actually enabled collisions here to represent the walls. So I've not done it everywhere, so I haven't got it here. So that means the player can still walk through this section here. But the walls are here, here, etc. So yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you haven't already, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to continue seeing more content such as this, then maybe subscribe. Would appreciate that too. Thank you very much and see you all in the next video.